Alright, so the number is two one two seven six four seven six six seven. It's bright in here. Hold it kind of close here so we can. Hi, this is Voice Control. Hi there. Um, I'm calling because I was drinking a glass of water and I was perusing the internet and I came across, excuse me, um, a documentary about fluoride. And about, I, what? about fluoride? Fluoride. And I realized that the concentration of fluoride in the glass of water that I drank was actually poisonous. Uh -huh. and, and my roommate was Yeah, uh yeah, uh, actually actually I, I know that actually fluoride is actually more toxic than lead and almost as as no as and almost as toxic as uh as arsenic. So um we were just, you know, concerned because if there's fluoride in our water and there's actually toxic amount because you know, I compared it to my toothpaste, actually, and uh, and the toothpaste that I have says that if I swallow that much fluoride, I'm supposed to call. So I guess my my roommate and I are just concerned. We were wanting your advice because we're swallowing fluoride. So what? What, what do is... you do when if people were to call with regarding the like if they swallow toothpaste? What what do you? How do you guys res like? Is there something that we should do? I mean, I, I'm guess I'm gonna stop drinking it, but. I didn't realize, because I was looking on New York's website, and it says it's one part per million. And I don't know if it was that high. I moved from Wisconsin. I don't know. Even, I, I wasn't even sure if my town had fluoride, but I didn't realize it was that high here. Or, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, because we both wanted to talk. Still it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. I'll turn off the speakerphone. It's that How one. Do you hit it? Right there. Yeah, I was just, because I was noticing it's one part per million in New York City, and I didn't remember, I don't know if it's always been that high, but I did the math myself, and that comes out to be slightly higher than, um, I did the, I did the math, yeah, because on the web, on the New York City government website, it says, it tells you how much, it says one part per million, and so I did the math, and for like an eight ounce glass of water, it actually comes out to be a quarter of a milligram, which is the same amount that's in an equivalent size of like toothpaste or whatever. Well, I feel okay now, but I'm not, I am, I feel, well, how could I not be getting poisoned from it? Uh, I'm just calling from New York City. Well, do I, do I have to, because I, I'm not, I'm not actually personally right now concerned about my health. I feel like I'm okay. I just wanted to know if, if you guys have been receiving calls of that nature and if, if there is. Is there, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm in Manhattan. Uh-huh. I don't mind telling you that. I just don't, I, I hope you don't mind that I'm calling because it's probably, an, it's probably not the normal kind of call you get, but I'm, I'm serious. I'm just a concerned citizen to be totally honest. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 It's the DEP. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, um, to be totally honest, it is my concern. It's my concern for everybody because I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I just found this out literally like five minutes ago. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm worried. I, I'm worried. Yeah. I know, but that's the thing is it's, that's, there, there's a document. The reason I found out about this is there's this documentary called, um, fluoride, the hard to swallow truth. It was like 40 minutes. I just watched it online. And 
or no, it's only like 20 minutes, and it, it, it's not uh, instantaneous toxicity, it's like over time it builds up in your system, just like mercury. Um, you should, I mean, Do you, do you think that if I presented them with some research, um, do you think maybe, I mean, maybe I could present research to, to, I could stop by and present research, because I, I haven't, I, I know that I could do some research because some of the sources were provided in the documentary, maybe I could just look those up myself and see what I can find. Maybe I could stop by with, just, I, I would just drop off an envelope or something to show you guys what's in there, maybe go to, go to the, you said the, not the EPA, well, I guess the EPA, DEP, maybe do that as well. I don't know. Because maybe we could, maybe if it's actually bad, we could start a, a campaign or something. But anyway, all right, well, thank you for listening. I, I appreciate that very much. And I, I personally would recommend, just as a fellow human being, you know, for you to check out that documentary. It's called it's called Fluoride, the, Har the Hard to Swallow Truth. All right, man, well, Happy New Year. Thanks, I hope you have a good night. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. What do you say? Um, well, he seems skeptical, but I think he'll check it out. He said that I, we should check out the DEP, the D, uh, Department of Environmental Protection, I mm -hmm. believe is the name of the agency in the city, and to contact them. Contact them to let them know we're drinking poison. Something tells me that they already have. Some people, not everyone, might choose. That the people that really make decisions um, for that agency and have oversight over that agency and many others already know. Because we have a tyrant for a mayor. Thank you. I wonder if the White House has fluoride filters. They probably do. We should look that up. Bastards. Just kidding. I like them. <laughs>